No, absolutely. And off the back of what you said in terms of the transport, the, the connectivity to central London, the education that's around there as well, with the schools uh, that we've got uh, in and around the area, in terms of all the regeneration that's happened there with the shops, the retails, the, the Wembley Arena and the stadium itself. How has the, the pocket of Wembley, you could say, um, how is it is from an investment perspective uh, relative to other key investment hotspots in London? What makes the, what sets it apart from these other hotspots uh, that other investors are looking at as well? Well, I think you know the um, the epicenter of London, the sort of the, the blue ribbon of London, is is prime central London, isn't it? And if you look at that holistically, you know, it, you know it's not impervious to peaks and troughs of the market, but it's performed at around 2.7% uh, in appreciation over the course of the last year. Um, and I'm very happy to report that Brent, as a, a, as a borough within London, has outperformed that. And that's been spearheaded by Wembley. And so uh, we're looking at around 3.2% appreciation over the course of this year, as I say, outperforming central London. Again, that's been driven by developments such as Fulton and Fifth, um, really galvanising the local market. The regeneration is you know, moving forward, becoming social, socially energised, social hubs are taking place and um, people want to live there now and uh, it's, it's great to be part of that journey.